Yes, it's Judy from Witch Peace Craft. I'm looking a little worse for wear today. I've just come in from the garden. I've been out planting daikon radish seeds. I have a lot of success with those and use a lot of them in cooking. It, for those of you who don't know, a daikon radish, it's quite big and it's an Asian vegetable. It's really quite nice. I suggest if you see them in the supermarket or at your green grocer or whatever you call them, fruit and veggie guy, buy one, try one. They're really nice grated in Asian dishes. I was going to stay there and plant more seeds, but my neighbour is renovating and I got sick of the sound of a nail gun. I have a dull, thick head now, so I decided to come inside. I've had a shower, I've washed my hair and I can't be bothered drying it, so that's up. And I'm in daggy house clothes because it's Sunday the 26th of October and I'm going to relax. Well, that depends on the hubby and son. I'm in this room because the hubby has an ear infection and gets giddy when he stands up. The son has a headache and a sore neck. But, like yesterday, they'll get miraculously a lot better by court to six in time to watch the second semi-final of the Rugby World Cup. Just like yesterday, they got miraculously better well enough to watch England beat New Zealand to go into the final and tonight they'll be watching Wales against South Africa and then next week no doubt it will be the World Cup final <sighs> that's life when you've got boys sport sport and more sport anyway what have I been up to this week not a lot I've been quite busy at work some late night meetings and that sort of stuff but I still managed to get crochet done because I don't watch a lot of TV, although I must admit, late at night on my own, I have been binge watching Peaky Blinders and I'm up to season four on Netflix. Anyway, acquisitions. Only one acquisition I ordered it ages ago when Ma Lama Mama Kayla um, put forward her um, loom, mystery loom make along, or cow, and I couldn't get a flower loom in and it's come from Hong Kong and it took long enough there's a flower loom a pick and a needle there's only about I don't know seven dollars to get it here like in total postage everything I couldn't get all the yarn to do Lama Mama's cow but Doreen who's always full of ideas or was it Doreen maybe it was earlier I'm going to try something with a flower loom I made another loom project this week and I'm not great at looming yet so maybe I'll do her blanket loom next year anyway that's my position all the way from Hong Kong arrived by raft yesterday Friday takes forever longer than it does from the US don't ask me why so that's my acquisitions um, so while we're on looming I made loom scrubbies and now I decided I make my first loom hat and I used a tutorial where it says one size should fit everybody well that is like a vice on my head that's my loom hat it's not great it's in there's a few imperfections um, but I don't think it was too bad and my hubby liked it he went he's got a pin head he's got a really small head and he said he'd like it for camping. So he's claimed it because I was just going to throw it in the charity bag. But he said, no, nah, fits me in great. Usually the beanies I make are too big. So that was made with Spotlight, an Australian yarn, USA style yarn, which is like a four way, two lot, two threads like they teach you. But I still think I need quite a bit of practice at loom knitting. So that was my loom hat. A call went out on our Facebook group for Far North Queensland Crochet for Cancer. We had lots of blankets but not beanies and usually they like to package up a blanket with a beanie. So this time, because I'm finishing my own blankets, I thought I would make beanies for next month. So I made this beanie which fits perfectly. I just changed the pattern to put a bit of purple in there. This is smells like yarn smell great guy Ross he does have a YouTube channel Instagram Ravelry Facebook this is my go-to beanie knitted pattern <gasps> I said the k-word sorry but that's it 
I love the way it turns out. It fits perfectly. You can adjust it. And once you get the basics of the pattern, you can do anything to it. That was made with some more of the leftover birch yarn that was for a cowl that the lady didn't like. So I made one. But I think I'll make hats because I'm a bit tired of blankets at the moment. So I made two hats. Mine loom knitted. So as I said before, I had five blankets on the go and I wanted to finish them. So one of the ones I finished, I would have shown you six months ago, I said, oh, it's nearly finished. A cool midwife blanket and it needed a border, but I ran out of yarn. It's hard to see because it's like blue with pinky flakes, pale blue. This is Lion Brand's Baby Soft 3 weight. this one. And I did need nearly a whole wall because it's all that's left it wasn't for a gift i just love the pattern but at my meeting one of my very new committee members which rarely changes she's a lawyer and she's having her first baby and she told us it's a boy and i'm thinking i might give her this as a gift for him a cot blanket so that may have a new home i have been working frantically on my son's ugh, corner to corner. I have actually finished the corner to corner three balls of Red Heart Ombre Super Saver and that's what's left. It's a bit of a mess. I need another ball at least to put a border around it because it needs a border and I'll show you it when it's finished. He can stand up and hold it. Never again will I offer to make a blanket for someone who's six foot three. It is never ending, especially the way he wanted it. But it, I'm quite proud of it. It does look nice and he likes it, but definitely unanimous decision on a Friday night, hubby, son, me, it needs the border. So mean mothers who gave me a free freight delivery for November will be getting an order. But not just for one ball of Red Heart Ombre. I've been looking at other walls. I've been looking at Premier um, Sprinkle Rolls or Candy Rolls. And I also looked at a new one I've never heard before. And the yarn is like Bloom from Lion Brand. But I think it's yarn from the UK. I think it's called Heritage. Looks really nice. So if I'm going to order, I'll make the free delivery worthwhile, but I'm not going to spend heaps because Christmas is coming. So that was that. Um, so I had five blankets. I finished base, well, two, a border on one. The fourth one, um, I frogged completely. It had a big mistake in it, and everyone said you couldn't notice, but I could. And I frogged to the mistake, and then I decided it was took way too much yarn, more than the yarn for my son's blanket, and it was a baby blanket. And I decided it wasn't worth the investment in the yarn. I hadn't been enjoying it. I liked the stitch, but probably the colourway. So I frogged it completely. It is no longer a whip or a finished ob object. It's gone. And I have one left, I think, which is the knitted green blanket, um, which I made a massive mistake in on my travels. And I can't, haven't yet decided whether to try and frog it back to the mistake. I haven't got very far in the pattern whether to completely start again and write that off. That's the decision for this week. They're my blankets. And that's probably why I don't want to make a charity blanket. I'm a bit blank out. So I thought I'd make beanies. Which brings me to um, a charity store I have been making oh, for my charity store in November. More tea towels. And pink table top tea towel topper. Orange, of course. Now, I, someone asked me, I use crochet cotton but two double up like two balls and I crochet with that I've done it with acrylic and I have done it with wool I just like the way the cotton turns out and yeah it's crochet cotton's quite thin sometimes depending on what ply it is if it's four ply it's doubled up if it's two ply it's tripled up three balls 
and I do it that way. These two need buttons. I don't have orange or pink buttons and I'll probably go out and or any white left so I might have to go out and buy some white buttons to go on those. They're for the craft store. I've had a request to do heaps of tea towels so I'm trying to do one or two a week until the craft store in November. I also as you would seen at the beginning finished another unravel mitten square the fillet square. I know some people didn't like this but I didn't mind it. I quite liked it. I even started to think for the tropics where we make lightweight blankets this would be a good stitch for my next charity blanket when i get motivated so that was another unravel mitten square i'm still think two squares behind <sighs> um and then because i'm working on the charity stalls i have made a cotton dishwasher these are sort of things i can whip up in a lunch hour because i do get an hour for lunch and between my meetings, like I was ready at three o'clock and my meeting wasn't till five and it's not worth me going home. I sit and crochet in my office. Some of my bosses, one of my bosses will come and talk to me and have coffee while I do it. This is Lingcraft 8 ply or 3 weight cotton. Now I think this is the best pattern for this cotton. It works out the best. Now this is a bag o' day dishcloth and she does it in four weight. I tried it in the three and it's great so I'll be doing more of these all the patterns I've used I'll put links in the description below if you want to check them out but I do highly recommend that and while we're on crystal from bag a day let's congratulate her on reaching 500k that is awesome it's great for our commercial community I don't know I think she's the first person I ever followed when I took it back up four years ago four and a half years ago and yeah I think she's a big kind-hearted person and it's great to see her achieve such a great result so hats off Crystal um, so then brings me to I'm looking for ideas Doreen Emma's mum came in to see me on Friday she actually brought me coffee because I couldn't get out for coffee she brought me a chai latte which I love and I wasn't even going to get out for lunch because um, I was quite busy but we did have a bit of a break and a chat and she's doing a November late November kids um, Christmas party fun day as a fundraiser she wanted to know if I'd have a charity store there if hubby would help out with the uh, um, barbecue prawns or shrimp as they call them in America and if the son could help. The son can't help because he's away for the weekend at his staff Christmas party. But we, I'm going to do the charity store, I think. But she wants me to do kids things. So she suggested backpack buddies, which I've never made. And I'm struggling to find ideas for little patterns. So you guys, if you could leave a comment in below, below of any you can recommend. Now, there's a couple of criteria I don't want to make ones that I have to sew lots of bits on because I'm not an amigurumi person. I struggle with it. And that's about it. Just something cute. I was watching Jane from Scraptastic and she was holding up a penguin um, from Nastasia Donna Wolf. And I'm going to give that a go. Maybe tonight while they're watching the rugby rather than another blanket. So, yeah, I'm looking for ideas. Oh. This wasn't supposed to be here. This is a keto recipe for cheesy cauliflower fritters. Doreen Emma's mum is doing keto. She felt after her trip to the USA and with Emma getting bigger, she needed to get fitter, stronger, lose a bit of weight. She has to lift Emma quite in and out quite a bit. So she's on keto and she brought me this in because she said this is really tasty and you would like it. So it's cheesy cauliflower fritters so tonight rather than a roast because they reckon they're not feeling well and I can't be bothered cooking a roast I am going to do lamb koftas and try these out with salad it's getting quite warm now so it's not really great to be cooking a roast without the aircon on but yeah I don't know they sound nice keto or not they sound nice um I can't even if I can find out from the heading or Get a message to her. I'll put a link if you're doing keto 
in the description below because I know quite a few of you out there are. So there you have it. Guess what? I didn't make a tea cosy this week. <gasps> horror. What a horror. I have got an order for a little one, another order for another little one, but I couldn't get motivated. And not a lot of tea cosies. I've only got two in for my make along. So if you're making one, send me a photo, please. I'd like to know that there's some people doing the make along because it closes on November the 9th. They don't take long to make. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And actually, I do sell a lot for Christmas gifts. I don't know why over here and not other places. I would have thought the UK would like tea cozies to keep their tea warm. But anyway, guys, that's the way it is. Pretty quiet week for me. Um, as I said, I get busier and busier towards Christmas. Along with the scholarships for work, I also volunteer to do Christmas gift wrapping at the shopping centre for the Hospital Foundation. Quite a few shifts after work. I knock off at three and I might go there to do a three hour shift till six. We get a gold coin donation. Um, people usually donate more and we raise quite a few funds for our local regional hospital and it's fun. And I actually get to meet some of the hospital ladies who crochet and knit and we chat and talk and swap ideas in the quiet times so that's yeah i'll get busier and busier i am i do have a whip in progress but i'm not going to show you that um because i'm trying something new my son suggested for all the hippies that live in our area he calls them hippies 35 and he thinks he's really cool anyway um thanks to all my loyal subscribers it is greatly appreciated that you keep following me it really is. I love all the comments. I have been busy and haven't had time to comment on some. I like and really appreciate the comments on my Facebook page. And those, for those people thinking about joining the Make Along, please do. It makes my day. Um, my work day can get pretty sad sometimes when I see the sad cases and financial difficulty of what people are going through. And it cheers me up. If you're a new subscriber, please check out my videos. You'll find my make along video there. I think it's video 53. And uh, yeah, join us. Have fun. Subscribe. Well, if you enjoyed seeing what you have today, give this video a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. It is appreciated. Until next time, take care of each other and have a crafty day. Bye for now.